Namaste, Namaskaram, Vanakam, Namo Namaha, Jai Ganesh. Visit our website at classicalyoga.org. Thoughtful Hindus are atheists. Here's a conversation starter. Prior to, very liberally, a thousand years ago, God didn't exist. Now we see the word was not around. Theos is the Greek for God. God, by definition, an Anglo-Saxon term, is a one male creator being. And to date, there is no provable one male creator being or female. That word would be goddess. And lest one think that God is simply a generic term and has no gender, one may ask Christians, for example, to say, Our Mother, who art in heaven, thy queendom come. So certainly God is a masculine term and used specifically by Christians and those of the other monotheistic religions may or may not use this term. However, it is completely disingenuous for Hindus to use this term. And in fact, many Christians, for example, are very happy when Hindus will use the term God for, under their breath, so to speak, they will admit that, yes, we know that the Hindus do not worship the real God, quote-unquote, but at least we have them using our term. And many Hindus have actually been led away from the Hindu yoga dharma, subtly, or not so subtly, by being indoctrinated into using the words God and Lord, and rather soon they stop going to the mandir altogether, as they have now found the one true God. In the Vedas, the rishis merely speculated on creation. They certainly recognized the spirit world, male and female. But when it came to the ultimate understanding of creation, they wisely said, Ka. Who knows? Now, Hindus most certainly believe in the Atmana, the inner essence the spirit or soul, if you will, and therefore there are innumerable souls with bodies and without bodies. These are the spirit beings of Hinduism. And this is recognized in the beginning of the Vedas. Agnimile perohitam yajnasyam devam, recognizing the many spirit beings, devam. Deva, Devi, male and female. Of course, there are individual Hindus and even groups within Hinduism that brashly claim that their deity is the one deity from which everything came. These, of course, are simply negative cultic expressions. There is a famous sloka from the Vedas that is often used to promote one's deity, ekam sat or ekam sad vipra buhudha vedante. Unified existence or unified abiding, sages speak of as many names and the implication forms. In a way, this is saying unity in diversity. If the Rishis had meant one deity, they would have said ek, deva, or devi. If they had meant one specific deity as the quote-unquote creator, they would have said ek, ishvara, or ek, indra, for example. But they said, ekam, unified, sat, abiding, existence, or sad, abiding. Sages speak of as many names and forms. 
So what was this sat, this pure existence, or this abiding? This we find in the Sanskrit Hindu word for the Atmana, sat, chid, ananda. Sat, pure existence. Chid, pure energy and light energy. And ananda, bliss. This pure existence, pure energy, light, and the feeling of bliss or love is a reality. It is the inner essence of all. Therefore, going with what we know, the Rishis wisely stated that we are a unified existence of pure love and light and energy, which manifests in innumerable names and forms, both human and animal. The creation of a one deity, creator being, especially male, in this case God, is actually a power play. And though there are certainly Hindus and groups within Hinduism that try to reinforce this concept, in the broader view of Hinduism, we see that thoughtful Hindus truly are atheists. They do not believe in an unprovable one male or female creator being noun. Rather, they believe in the beingness verb that is pure existence, sat, pure energy and light, chid, and the inner experience of love or bliss, ananda, sat, chit, ananda. The beautiful Sanskrit term that defines the atmana, the soul, within the human and also within the animals. Not our mind, atmana, not our body, not our emotions but temporarily inhabiting the body, mind, and emotions, and thus atma-darshana, paramodharma. Our supreme duty as Hindus in life is to realize our atmana, vidma hitva sahasras atman, from the Vedas, give us the wisdom of atma-darshana. The thoughtless use of God by Hindus a one male creator being, is also a tremendous insult to the female spirit beings within Hindu yoga dharma. The following was inspired by the numerous matas, the Hindu female deities. O child vain, take a look at me. I stick my tongue out for all to see. My skin is black, my hair is black. It covers me front and back. My eye is a piercing stare of dare to shake you out of your self-made lair. And I am your worst nightmare or your best friend. On how you live your life does this depend? And you wear pretty necklaces and stuff that dulls. But could you also wear one of skulls? And I walk on Shiva, why, you ask? Because he knows me, and this is your task. Life is serious, and life is fun. But I am behind light, I am photon. Black is black, and that is that. White is white, but not necessarily right. What silly games you people play. I will get you all at the end of the day. Life and death, the continual dance. Watch me move in a mystic trance. And I dance on your ego, this much is true. But it is only for you to get rid of you. For when the little self you lose or purify, upon the greater self you muse. So watch me now, watch me again, and I will teach you how to end this ego tea and all the rest. You too will live among the best. And then return the gift to all and complete the circle. That is all. Om Tat Sat. 
Sometimes you need Mother Kali. Absolute destruction, this is me. Sometimes Mother Durga, many-armed, move through the world with a smile unharmed. Sometimes Mother Paravati, the epitome of femininity. Kali, Durga Paravati, take your pick, it's all me. Uma, Gauri, Durga Kali, Sachi, Sati, Minakshi, Kanyukumari, Paravati, and we have Mahalakshmi, Saraswati, Radharani, Sitaji, Jay, Mataji. Deko ne he Hindu dharma me. Remember God, nara he ne nari, achi. So Mother Kali would like to know why it is that God you show. When I am a woman, can't you see this is not Christianity? And Mother Durga is a woman too. Hmm. So why is God the man for you? And Mother Paravati is a beautiful Hindu lady. Would you call her God or Lord? It's a bit hazy, crazy, lazy. Hindus, L-A-Z-Y, lose a zero, yoga, etc., etc. And Mother Lakshmi is part of the Hindu trinity. Can't you see this is not Christianity? And Mother Saraswati, oh, how we need your wisdom. God and Lord are monotheistic dualism. Ne Hindu dharma he, monistic polymorphism in English is Hinduism. Brahman, Ishvara, Ishvari, Mahadev, Mahadevi, Isana, Kumari. Oh, beautiful Sanskrit, Tamil, Hindu terms you see. So, leave God and Lord to Christianity for... The Christian will never say to thee, Kali, Durga, Krishna, Vishnu, Shiva bless thee. Can't you see this is not Christianity? Rig, Veda, Agni Mile. The first three words of the world's oldest surviving scriptures that are still followed by countless individuals. Rig, worship. Veda, a passion to know. Vidya is knowledge. Veda is a passion to know. You have to know. And know what? Rig. Worship. Agni Mele. Praise Mele, the fire. Rig, Veda, Agni Mele. Worship, worship, worship the fire. Fire is life. Without Surya, the sun... No life. Without the inner fire of the Atmana, no physical existence. When the inner fire of the Atmana, this Satchitananda Jyoti Shakti Ananda Shanti, leaves the physical body, the body grows stiff, cold, dark. Fire is life. In all the religions of the world, fire has always played an important role be it in the form of an actual fire ceremony or simply lighting a candle. It's a reminder of the inner light and a worship and respect for the light without. Antar Jyotir Bahir Jyotihi. And in the Hindu Yoga Dharma, we still maintain our fire ceremonies, our Yajna, Agni, Hotra, Havan, and in the fire, we may see symbolically the many forms of the mothers. It's not for nothing that we speak of Mother Earth, creation as a female. For the female truly is the one that gives birth. The many arms, the many flames of the fire and the colors, Mother Durga. The beauty of the fire, of the Paravati. The prosperity that fire brought and still brings to creation. We've harnessed fire in the form of electricity in our homes and our gas appliances. The enlightenment fire brings Mother Saraswati. We all know how difficult 
a simple task is in the dark. Plugging in the coffee in the morning, for example. Where are those two little holes? Simply turn on the light. Ah, there they are. Highly significant. Uncover, turn on if you will, the inner light of the Atmana, and voila. Answers become revealed. But what about Mother Kali? Hmm. Very misunderstood. She's the blackness before the fire, before the Big Bang. She's the blackness within the fire and the blackness when the fire goes out, the all-encompassing darkness, the absolute, nirvartante. That nothingness that's the fullness of everything, that nothingness that we all need. In order to be effective during the day, we all need to go into the nothingness of deep, dark sleep. I am the black of the fire, I am charcoal. I am Mother Kali from days of old. Through sadhana and intense tapas, I reveal myself to the sages among us, to those unafraid of the dark, to those with the courage to hit the mark, to those who serve and love true, I open the way to the peace in you. If you're afraid of a little dirt, the dark, a smudge, life's hard lessons will be your judge. But when you learn to dance with me, Kali, I will teach you what it is to be empty. Not worthless, not drained, you see, but rather dharmarupati dharmi jay mataji Kali. And I am Mother Durga, the flames of the fire. And I teach you to go higher and higher, to handle your workload every day with a smile on your face, oh, JJ. And I am Mother Paravati, the beauty of the fire, and I point to the ultimate desire, to love and be loved, to give and receive, all with the help of my son Mahaganapati. And I am Mother Lakshmi, Vishnu's Shakti. And I teach you what is true prosperity. Amrita Mantar Pesa Bahir. And I am Mother Saraswati, the enlightenment fire brings, arts, purity, culture, all Hindu religious things. And I am Nataraja, the dance within the fire. And I point to the ultimate desire Atma Darshana is why we are here. So stop wasting time, my dears. Kali Kali misunderstood the absolute peace of darkness. It was before and it will be long after all of us. Mother Durga, many colors, many arms. This is the story of creation. She rides the tiger, Bengal, of life and shows us how to conquer strife. And Mother Paravati's beauty and grace, these are things we should seek. To love each other and yourself with the help of Mahaganapati. And Mother Lakshmi's prosperity in everything that you do. Body, mind, emotions, and the Atma within you. And Mother Saraswati, please, oh please. Please, oh, please enlighten me, we. Arts and culture, purity. J J J Mahataji. J J J Kahalima. J J J Durugama. J J J Paravati. J J J Mahalakshmi. 
जय 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 हे सारस्वती जय 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 हे महाथजी ओ शांति 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 ही